In July 2010, the department's secretary, Stephen Chu, issued a memorandum directing all of DOE's sites to install cool roofs when cost effective, when a roof needed to be replaced or repaired. Um, we specifically have this set up so that it's only when cost effective, and these roofs ensure that we're gaining energy efficiency savings. When the secretary issued his memo, he also sent a letter to other federal agencies to encourage them to work on cool roofs. And through the department's federal energy management program, FEMP, they specifically are designed to help assist other agencies in meeting all of the energy and sustainability goals. What we'd hoped to accomplish with the green roof and the white roofs was to, overall, is to produce energy savings was the main goal. Um, there was a lot of data that showed that, that by changing out to a white roof, we could reduce the, uh, the temperature underneath by 15 to 20 degrees. And um, so we decided to go with white roof to, to reduce, to reflect the sun and to, and to reduce our energy consumption by keeping our buildings a little bit cooler in the summertime. In tandem with that, we decided that we would go ahead and put solar panels on them uh, because they were good candidates for solar. Uh, so for all the white roofs that we put on this building out here, we put solar panels on them, except for this roof that you see here. The green roof uh, wasn't a good candidate for solar, but we wanted to do something um, more of a con conservational nature, and so we decided to go with this green roof. It, it originally was conceived as, as a white roof with solar panels, and, but after we did a shading study out here, we, we saw that we, we didn't have as much uh, sunlight as we wanted, so we wanted to do something, so we decided to, to transition to this green roof. Regardless of whether you pick a cool roof or a green roof, you want to make sure that it is a, a building that actually requires a new roof. Uh, it's, it's not cost effective to replace a functioning roof with a new roof, a new cool roof. Uh, the maintenance on this green roof is, is practically negligible. According to the landscaping contractor, it would take us approximately four years to become fully established. Um, but other than occasional weeding and a couple of days during the uh, 100 degree heat that we had this summer, we had to water it. But other than that, there is absolutely no maintenance at all to it. Um, so maybe uh, twice a year, come out here and pull out the weeds um, and that's it. Uh, these are perennials. They're actually sedums and they were chosen because they, they flower both in the summer and the winter. In fact, the, the five plants that you see here that were chosen will in the wintertime all change colors. So, so you have a whole different color scheme in the wintertime as opposed to the summertime. We have actually monitored the temperature underneath the roof and it has dropped you know, 10 to 15 degrees from what it was before. It's uh, overall an enthusiastic program to help us meet our sustainability goals uh, through energy efficiency and ensuring that we're reducing costs and saving taxpayer dollars.